Welcome to Better Kansas City. It's Friday. It's a first Friday, so let's make it a really fun Friday. Let's just say you're sitting down at a swanky steakhouse and you find pastries on the menu. Not for dessert though, which means it's got to be something pretty special, especially if you're at Stock Hill. And joining me now in the Price Chopper Kitchen is Kelly Conwell, co-executive chef at Stock Hill. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. You have 10 years of experience. You have traveled the globe extensively. And today we're making pierogies, but these aren't just ordinary pierogies. No, These they're not. These are lamb. This is actually from our new fall dish that we have going on here at Stock Hill. Um, lamb is a really great, I think, fall dish, um, especially with uh, a steakhouse. Mm -hmm. um, so you have a, a couple different options besides coming in and just getting steak. Um, so in the pan here, um, it's at a medium low heat. Um, you want to salt your lamb, put it in there, um, cook it on both sides. You can always finish it in the oven as well so it doesn't get too dark. Um, Right here we have our lamb pierogies. Um, usually we'll uh, deep fry these at the restaurant, um, but they're filled with ground lamb. They have cinnamon, nutmeg, potato, sweet potato, like all those awesome uh, European flavors. And a lot of that European flavor came from your travels, particularly some of the sauces that you use. Yes. So tell us about that because um, you don't just do ordinary lamb stumped in, stuffed in these dumplings. No, um, this dish actually uh, stemmed from my travels in uh, Europe. And uh, last spring I went to uh, South Africa with a friend of mine and had this sauce and it just, I was like, how can I incorporate this sauce into one of the dishes? And at the time I was just a pastry chef. Uh -huh. So I was like, well, I can't use a garlic sauce in pastries. And so when Spencer and I were coming together with this dish, I was like, this is the best place to put this. And Spencer is? He's the other co-executive chef at Stockhouse. At Stockhouse, which is on the plaza. Yes. It's a beautiful restaurant. You said just a couple moments ago, oh, I was just a pastry chef. You're being modest. You were not just a pastry chef. You won a huge award when you were only a couple years out of high school, which really wasn't that long ago. You're a very young, very young woman for to have such a huge position. What did you win? Um, I went to Johnson County Community College uh -huh. and uh, went through their awesome culinary arts program. And my last year there won Best Young Chef in the Nation. Best Young Chef in the yes. Nation. Mm -hmm. You're still a young chef. So as you get these dumplings together, tell us this, what's it like to be a young female in an in a industry which is really dominated by older men. No offense to the older men out there, but you are much different than the typical executive chef and you're at a high-end restaurant in a big power position. Um, you know, I think it stems from the women that I've worked for before mm -hmm. in the culinary industry. Um, I worked for Megan Geralt, who was a great um, mentor, and then Sheila Lacero, who was a great mentor when I worked at Jack's. And I think that the, both of them and other women in the industry have set really good examples of how to run a kitchen, um, how to work with staff, how to better be a better leader. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's basically from all those women that, you know, I feel like I can conquer the position that I have now. So now we plate the food? Yes. Okay. So here we have our lamb and our pierogies. Um, here's a little bit of our uh, fennel too. It's a little bit of sweet and sour fennel. So you're getting uh -huh. just a bunch of different flavors with it. Um, so sweet and sour, a little bit of salt. Is it, this is your own recipe. You can't get this anywhere else. No, yes, Kansas this City. is this exactly, is your, exactly. You invented this. Yes. And we have a lot of other really great fall dishes on the menu. We have duck, um, we have a new pasta dish, we have some braised uh, pork shoulder. So a lot of really great, you know, fall dishes that uh, Spencer and I got at Stock Hill. Can we talk about your desserts? Yes. Okay, this does look beautiful. <laughs> Let me tell you, so do these. And these are kind of going back to your roots as a pastry chef, but it is, this isn't just a piece of pie. And this is like a work of art here. What's this one? This one actually is my favorite one on the menu right now. We have a coffee mousse uh -huh. uh, with a flourless chocolate torte. So this is actually a gluten-free option that we have at Stock Hill. Um, it's coffee, it's dolce de leche, um, it's Heath Bar, and it's, it's a nice balance between chocolate and not death by chocolate. It looks it, like a, one of those ice cream pops, but it's not. It's not. It's not frozen. No, it's not yeah. frozen at all. Yeah, we use instant espresso and instant coffee. Beautiful. Um, make this really nice fluffy mousse, pipe it in there, freeze it, and then dip it. Um, kind of like how you see in like the grocery stores with like the ice cream. I'm going to taste that while you're telling me about this next one. Um, and then this one here, uh, you know, obviously it's 
pumpkin season uh, with November. Everybody loves, you know, pumpkin spice lattes. Uh -huh. um, so this is our pumpkin cheesecake. So, and then on top we have a white cake crumble. Time which... out. Hold on. I got sidetracked. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Thank you. This is your this is your deal. This is. Mm -hmm. This is like this is like a Kelly special. Yes. Okay. This is incredible. I'm gonna tilt this so you can see. This glu it's gluten free. It is gluten free in all its glory. Mm -hmm. And what's it called again? It's our chocolate mousse bar. Sweet baby Jesus, that was good. <laughs> okay, and this one is called real quick. And this is just our pumpkin cheesecake. It has some fresh pomegranate, some pepitas, and it's served with a maple goat cheese ice cream. I love how she says, oh, it's just, just blah, blah, blah. Nothing is just with Kelly Conwell, co-executive chef at Stock Hill. Thank you so much for being Thanks here. Thanks so much for having me. This is incredible.